Hello students, uh, welcome to College Deco's exclusive TS MSET exam analysis. So in this live session, uh, we are going to discuss about shift one, uh, quick review, quick analysis as per the basic feedback received from students. Uh, so far, almost uh, uh, 13 to 14 students responded through the feedback form given uh, under the description. Uh, so as per the initial feedback received from students, uh, the overall difficulty level of the paper was moderate. Actually, it's a bit surprising. Compared to the previous uh, four ships exam, like uh, the exam which happened on uh, uh, fourth and fifth, compared to fourth and fifth exams, today's paper turned out to be a bit better in terms of difficulty level. So it's moderate. And uh, the difficulty level of physics was moderately difficult. Physics was above average in terms of difficulty level, but chemistry was easy to moderate and mathematics was moderate but lengthy. So mathematics section was lengthy. At least 15... Uh, I mean, 15 questions were direct, like 15 to 20 questions were too direct and easy to answer, while uh, some 16 to 17 questions were moderate, uh, moderately difficult. Uh, so max section was doable only, but it was time consuming because 80 questions, it was time consuming. And many students, uh, or whoever responded, felt that mathematics section was a bit lengthy. So apart from that, uh, it's fine, mathematics paper as well. So physics was also moderately difficult only. And when it comes to chemistry, chemistry was easy to moderate. So topic-wise, um, weightage in this shift was as per the basic feedback. So from mathematics, uh, students had more questions uh, from vector algebra, uh, calculus, and uh, coordinate geometry as per the initial reaction. So um, vector algebra is most important because yesterday's shifts and day before yesterday also vector algebra dominated the question paper. And apart from that, if you see the physics, mechanics dominated the question paper in shift one. There were almost 30 to 33 percent of questions from mechanics. Uh, so mechanics dominated the paper. And uh, when it comes to chemistry, this shift, uh, there was more weightage for organic chemistry compared to inorganic chemistry. So organic chemistry had very decent weightage with uh, 15 to 20 percent of uh, questions from organic chemistry only. So there were questions from uh, biomolecules, uh, gaseous states, uh, chemical bonding. So different uh, topics. So organic chemistry played a very important role. So uh, this is the basic uh, analysis. And uh, some students uh, uh, said that some students uh, said that they were able to answer uh, more than 80 questions in on an average. On an average, they were able to answer more than 80 questions confidently. Like there were e uh, 80 questions were uh, like easy and average to answer. And the rest of the questions were time consuming. So 80 can be the average number of uh, good score, average number of good attempts, average good score can be anywhere between uh, 70 to 80. But uh, but uh, one student responded that uh, she was able to answer more than 110 questions. So, so above 110 questions, she was able to answer confidently. So which means that uh, we consider the average number of uh, uh, good attempts can be 80 and the expected number of very good attempts can be 110 to 120. 110 to 120. So uh, we are yet to receive memory-based question papers. So we have added the memory-based question uh, form. So, so far we haven't received any memory-based questions. So as in when we receive the memory-based questions, we will add in the link uh, available in the description. So they, uh, in the description, you can find memory-based questions for tomorrow's, uh, no, I mean, sorry, yesterday's shift one and shift two, day before yesterday's shift one, H2, all the memory-based questions were added. And yesterday record, we received more than 45 questions. So all those 45 questions were added uh, in the link available. under. So today, so for today's exam, we are ready to receive questions as and when uh, uh, it will be, it, it's available, we will uh, update it. So the, all the best to students, whoever is appearing for shift to exam, whoever joined this live session and appearing for shift to exam, all the best to every student. This is, this will be the last shift of the TSMZ exam for engineering stream. So in the evening, we will catch up at 7 p.m. with live session of overall analysis of TSM set engineering, which, which shift was difficult, which was most hardest and which was most easiest shift along with cutoff and closing ranks, rank prediction. So we will discuss about it at the 7 p.m. live session today. So let's join today's 7 p.m. live session for all other details. All the best to all the students appearing for uh, shift two. Stay safe, stay confident, stay strong, stay strong. And thank you for joining the live session. Stay tuned to College Deco for more updates on TSM set exam. Thank you.